Good morning, folks. It's the Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. A beautiful May morning. We got a nice rain last night, and I'm up here with the mob and the chickens. <clears throat> we just moved uh, the mob into this paddock, and uh, there's 300 laying hens in this netting. <clears throat> right here where the cattle are, and back over the hill there, where we just took them out of. You see the top of those hoop houses. There's 600 laying hens in that netting down there. Um, the chickens are being kind of rotated in sync with the cattle herd and uh, they just we can't keep up because they have so much ground but the chickens uh, do some scratching around in the manure and catch the bugs and different things and these are layers they're, they're not broilers but you see the grass I mean it's it's just unbelievable how quickly uh, the, the grass has got ahead of us and so we've got some seed heads on here, but uh, the cattle are going through here and they're picking out some of the very best. And I'm falling right behind them as soon as we take the cows out. Of course, I won't be able to now. We got a good rain last night, but as quickly as I can, I'm just coming in behind them and taking the seed heads off. And if you look way over there in the distance, you can see where I caught up with them yesterday. I just clipped that. And all I did was just take off about six inches of stem. I didn't get down to the grass leaf. We got grass-fed beeves in here. We need leaf production. Uh, the cows you probably get by fine, but those steers just aren't going to put on weight and get finished in time unless we keep this stuff a little bit more succulent. So the higher energy that you can keep in your plants, uh, consequences of you know trimming and keeping more leaf production going, that, that's always a good thing. I just made a note how quickly the calves. You know, those are those calves there. That one there's probably. I don't know, three weeks old, four, about a month old. Man, look at them. They're really putting the weight on. Just really amazing how quickly they learn to eat. So if you have your animals in a mob, the cows actually teach the little guys what's good and what's not. And, uh, you know, you can raise a bucket calf on a bottle, and those darn things, they won't learn to eat grass for four months. But a, a newborn out here on the pasture with their mothers, my golly, they'll, they'll pick up on it right quick. But uh, there's just a, you can hear the chorus behind me. The chickens. Um, they are a, 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 a raucous bunch. I'm gonna step over and just give you a sh Oh, so this is Bobby and Alex's deal. And uh, you can see the chickens, they got the laying house in there. The nest box, there's 40 nest boxes in there. So there's 40, 40 in each one. Um, this whole thing is being pulled. And there's a roost in there. So it's closed up at night. The whole thing's being pulled with a full wheeler. And it does have electric net around it. Okay. No predators. They, they just can't get in here. There's about 6,000 volts in that netting. And uh, this has skids on it. So Alex just hooks on in the morning. And he opens up the back of it, and uh, as he pulls forward, the chickens can flow out the back of this feeder. But boy, they are making a racket this morning. They're happy. They've all laid an egg. Well, not all, but there's a, there's a bunch of them there waiting to lay an egg. So, yeah, they, they do a little scratching out here. Um, they're working behind the cattle, kind of in sync, and uh, it's just a wonderful view. You got your cows there in the background. In the forefront here, we got the chickens. This is Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a great day.